So here we are on the sunny funky, beach. Funky, funky. For our ultimate vacation list. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm here. Oh, we're supposed to be meeting Jarby here. Where's Jarby? He's here, yeah. Jarby. Jarby, where? Over there. He's in the little look, look. Oh, what are you doing over there? I'm in the house, look. Over here. What are you doing? Come on out, mate. Come on. How fast can you run over here? I'm coming pretty fast. Ready? There he is. Yeah. Over there. Little house. Run back to the little house real quick. Show us how fast you are. <laughs> <laughs> I run back. back. <laughs> Watch there that boat. Go. Don't knock that boat oh, over. That cheeky little boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do vacation. <clears throat> Ultimate vacation. <laughs> if Joe can sit in one place. <laughs> um, so fast. Yeah. Um, I, I, I really enjoyed this bed, so yep. I might to put this on the bed. Okay, um, mate. Have a rag I'm up in holiday. Don't put it on your bed. What? Don't put it on your bed. Okay. Yeah. And make Good. a mess. F- freestyle reggae <laughs> holiday rap. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, if only I could actually freestyle. I think right. We're going on the holidays, Jack Chong can sharpen. <laughs> <laughs> Booyah! Um, <laughs> trying to think of something that rhymes with sharpie now. Uh, anyway, um, Right, we're so sitting we... on them beach. We're gonna have a barbie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> uh, right. Oh dear, yeah, man. Yeah, that's uh, uh, was racially profiling me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Jack, do you want to go through the list? So, if you want to join in at home, let us know in the comments what yes. you would have picked. So, ultimate so, summer vacation will consist yeah. of ten number things. One. Number one is the destination. Number two is your travel chums. Number 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 three. <laughs> number three. <laughs> number three. Number three. Number still number skin. skin <laughs> is your transport. Four is a luxury item. Number five is food and drink. Number six is a day activity. S- number seven is another day activity. <laughs> it's, it's, like it's always like running out of like, ideas. It's like <laughs> fucking what you call it, a generation game, isn't it? Yeah. A cuddly toy. Yeah. And number eight is your evening activity. And number nine is <laughs> holiday. A soundtrack <laughs> and in at ten a souvenir <laughs> by now that, that's what I call an ultimate holiday if you can remember any of those things you take them home with you today <laughs> <laughs> right um, let's go jump straight in then boys who's going first Chunky T introduce yourself <laughs> hi my name's Chunk and I'm a tattoo artist from Lincoln <laughs> there we go yeah. oh god uh, what are you yeah. bring him destination your first destination what I'm you bringing a destination what's yeah, your well. destination so idea the idea of this is we should I pick... get a pen and write this down yes I've got a pen right here for you mate pass me pen um, we are going to as usual with our ultimate lists we'll all bring our ideas we'll pick the best one from that obviously the destinations may not marry up with some of the activities but we'll just say that they can be transported into utopia in our to be that little, world on yeah, this beach on this utopian beach um, everyone knows we've always stuck to how things work in the real world yes. exactly so that's the whole point of the show, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Create a hypothetical utopia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, what, uh, <laughs> so what are you bringing? My destination is straight up Las Vegas. Never been. Vegas. 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 Like Never appealed to me. I've no? never been to America. I could lose money here. No, but I, I think it's, it's, it's everything's, so it. fucking, <laughs> <laughs> everything's so fucking big and that. Yeah, but things are big if you're well close to it. No, but like, my mate went to... See this mic? Real big. Yeah. yeah. My mate went to Vegas, right? He said on the way in his hotel, he saw a dolphin pool and he was there for 10 days and never found it again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, that's drugs. <laughs> no, <laughs> he was like, I couldn't find it again because it's just, everything's that fucking big. Yeah. And like, there's so much shit on. Yeah. But I want to kind of go. I think it'd be good. And that's that. Yeah, go yeah. for it. If you right. want to do uh, it. Who wants to go next? Uh, I'll go next. Go me, you, Chubby, or we... Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll go... Uh, do you want me to go second? Do you want me to go first? What do you want to go? <laughs> just say it! Do you want to go next? Just say the thing! <laughs> so I've got to introduce myself first, stand for that. Okay. Uh, My name is Jack. I'm 29 years old, and I'm a glorified receptionist from Lincoln! <laughs> Uh, I'm saying Cyprus. Fucking love Cyprus. Cyprus? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Turkey part or the Greece part? The Greece part. <laughs> the you can get the really greasy part. The greasy part. <laughs> you, you, know, love, you know, I'm a sucker for the really Greece. good Turkish delight from Cyprus. It yeah. comes in that octagonal box of all the sugar on, mate. But it's full of, box full of cocaine, isn't it? Exquisite. Yeah, you, surely you'd get that from the Turkey box part. Box full of you? cocaine and jelly. It's a good way to sort of smuggle it in, isn't it? Just on the. I know delight. people if from, you, if you get people from the Cyprus, Greece, or Turkey will all hate me, but it's not. 
Oh, oh now you get shot on that. Yeah. <laughs> shot on that. Yeah. And that's the worst. Yeah. I do really want to go back to Cyprus and I want to see that No Man's Land bit. There's a bit of, there there's, is. A, there's a bit of Cyprus. That's not your day activity one, is it? No, that would be no good Man's then. Land bit. There's, a, there's a bit of Cyprus which like doesn't exist but does exist. It's not owned by anyone. It's not owned by anyone. Have you heard about it? I haven't heard about much. There's a bit of Cyprus. So obviously Cyprus it's really is, hairy because nobody shaved it in a while. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a bit of Cyprus. So Cyprus is split into two. The northern yeah. part is a Greek Why part. Why is nobody split like across it? Why? The, the middle. So what happened was it was years ago. They was having a war over it. Mm. Uh, as is far it just as like, I've got this in my head. It's like it's this big. Like, that's my bit. <laughs> no, as far, it back. as far as I'm aware... I could be wrong on this, but they was basically having a war over who owns Cyprus, and the Greeks were going for it, and the Turks were going for it, saying, we own it. And they basically both had a massive row about it, and I can't remember how it came about, but basically there was this strip along the middle that basically the Greeks come down, and they said, we're having this bit, and then the Turks come over and said, we're having this bit, and obviously the bit in the middle where they met, all the people that originally lived there, they was basically told, this place is getting bombed the fuck out of shortly, you've got like half hour to get out is it pretty much like this is why we can't have nice things we're gonna fuck it up so no one can have it there the only two people that live there were Stavros Flatley and they were like (laughs) we'll own this bit then yeah (laughs) yeah but if a nuclear blast happened it'd be cockroaches and Stavros Flatley now it's just a no man's land you've got a border either side nobody technically owns that bit of land but it's all like these car dealerships they've just been left the cars are still there everyone's literally been at work and just gone out and out of here and they've just gone and they've left and now because it technically doesn't you can go on like bus trips but like you're not allowed off the bus you're not allowed to take pictures of <laughs> it you can nobody just owns it. this land you can't have it if no one owns it who's exist. stopping you from going on it bus club has jurisdiction bus club. fucking does <laughs> mate Mavis yeah. don't give a fuck yeah, <laughs> yeah um, but hang on if nobody owns it who's policing it no one because you're no. not allowed there it's, it doesn't, so, so, so. it's who? not on it's they not anybody's country who jurisdiction is it to say you can't go on there if they don't own it well the Greeks don't let anyone from, from on it from the Greek side and the Turks don't let anyone on it from the Turk side it's, it's, it's Turkish isn't it the sound the bottom sort of bottom end. I don't know one or the other I know it's Turkish and why Greek. not I it's go like on Greek it. Cypriot and I'm sure it's like yeah. Turkish Cypriot yeah. isn't it or something like that I that's why you can't get on Turkish it. delight in the Greek part it's Greekish delight yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah, just delight so, no, yeah. no you can't go on that bit do you own it well no well fuck off then let me on it like if you don't well, own if it, you get, you if you get off it, you're what, technically in a country I'll tell you what, that doesn't if exist. If we select this Cyprus bit, yeah, then we'll go on it, Sharpie. You have a go. Yeah, yeah, you have <laughs> see a go. See what happens. I'll yeah. take it for a test drive. <laughs> yeah, I'm driving this bit of land. Yeah, yeah. look at this. <laughs> technically, <laughs> you got a pro- bubble boat. I'm sorted. Yeah. Technically, you could probably just get in one of them cars at the dealership and give it a go because there ain't no laws and there ain't no police in yeah, that you bit. Kill so someone do you want? Yeah, yeah, I could. Let's go there, kill Jack. See if we get told off for it. Yeah, yeah. Can't do that. I won't even try it. You can't, you can't kill me. <laughs> um, you can't do it. I don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, yeah, cool. Right, yeah, so we've got yeah. Cyprus, Vegas, and Sharpie. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hello, I'm Sharpie. I'm Chris Sharp from the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you nice said five see. words. It yeah. counts. <laughs> it works. We're all together. What are you bringing? What? So I have got. Where are you going? Where yeah. are you going? I'm bringing to go in <laughs> to the seven night Mexican. Riviera Cruise stops have Los Angeles, California, Cabo San Lucas, Mazatlan, which I think is something, to do, with, is something to do with Mazatlan. Yeah, that's not right. Um, <laughs> it's got one of them fancy flicks on the A though, so it's like Spanish Mazatlan. Um, <laughs> and then San Diego, California, and then back to Los Angeles, California. So the seven night Mexican Riviera Cruise. So you get to go to There's a lot of places in California because there is a Mexican cruise. <laughs> yeah, no, because. <laughs> You go back to the beginning. So Los Angeles, California. Oh, and they get San Diego as well, the other bit. And then you go back through that bit to Los Angeles, California. <laughs> oh, okay. So you just stay in California. No, you go to Cabo on your San- Mexican cruise. Cabo right? San Lucas and Matalan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where you're going. But th- this way, I think you get to see so many different I reckon that's a good parts. idea, you know. And then you get to do the holiday on the boat. See, cruises are going to be great because you, you're scared of the sea, though. Regardless of that, I've got a reason. But... So, you've got fun holiday, party holiday on the boat, because they do all sort of like fancy bits. You can go water park on the boat, you can do mini golf on the boat, you can have a destination sightseeing holiday on the boat, and you can see so many different places, you can have every type of holiday in one. It is the Swiss Army Knife of Seven Night Mexican Riviera Cruise. <laughs> there we go. How much have I paid you for this advert? <laughs> I'm getting grills later. <laughs> um, 
The only thing I think was a cruise, aside from the fact that I'm terrified of the sea and would never go on a cruise in real life. Yeah. Obviously, in Utopia, I would be perfectly safe from any of my. Yeah, yeah. So it would be different, but I don't like the the overly organised fun of a cruise where it's like you can't go anywhere that you want to go. You can. No, no, but you can't because it's like well, you, you're on that boat until this time. Then you got go, you can go off and do I your suppose, bits. Then yeah. you got to come back. You can't just go. <clears throat> do you fancy doing this today? Oh, the Jack's trip, you can't go there, no one owns it. But he's not going to the no man's land. No, no, he's going to the no general. man's land. No, he said, like, he just, he said in general, he you wouldn't mind going to the Cyprus. In real life. Yeah, but that's like saying it's organised fun because I'm going to Cyprus. Well, I want to go to Uzbekistan. We can't in Cyprus. Well, that's organised fun. No, that is not. Yeah. No, you're just arguing I, that. I That's, think, though, it, yeah. I, I do think, though, it's that your organized. idea of a cruise ship compared to cruise ships now. Cruise ships now are. What do you mean? Because I'm too old. To, no, in, in, in my in, day, there must have just been a steamboat. In, his, in your day, <laughs> it was a bubble, it was a bubble with a bubble bubble fucking boat, jazz band on was it. Was he there on that cartoon with Mickey Mouse? <laughs> yeah, the the steamboat yeah, Willie. Steamboat, steamboat <laughs> Chunky, the girl, mate. Steamboat Cruise Riviera. Like, cruise ships now are fucking huge. To the point where I, 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 d- I don't think you would ever get bored on it. There's that much shit to do that is available I, all the I time. Get, I get that. We went, ironically, when we, I know, I think it was when we went to, I know, it was when we went to Cy- Cyprus, might have been Crete actually. Mm. No, I think it was Crete that we went to. We we got a taxi from our villa back to the airport and it circled around this bay to get to the airport. And in the bay was a cruise ship and the cruise ship just towered over everything. It was oh, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. enormous. I get that. That's the first You've time I've ever seen a proper well, cruise ship and it was fucking huge. Cruise ships are massive, like you're saying. You want to go to Las Vegas because it's massive. Yeah. But the, the bloke that was giving yeah, us a taxi... Yeah, but I have the ability to kind of go, right, well, I can go here, there, and everywhere. Like, I've got a destination. I know I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. But I, f- I feel cruises are very much like the all-inclusive style thing, yeah. where it's like, this is the complex, that's what you, you're limited to. Yeah, yeah. You can't But you, go, but you like, can get off and go see... Di- I like the aspect of going to see different... Like yeah, venues, yeah, lots so of speak. different holidays. Yeah, like, so you, can you can go for a go for a holiday. Yeah, have party yeah, but look, holiday, are you are you just holiday. saying you're going on a cruise then, or are you saying you're just going to Mexico and Los, Los Angeles? Well, I had to pick a cruise, and this one looked good. I had to look on the deals and stuff. <laughs> but <laughs> he's there with the budget looking yeah. for the yeah. right one. This one's through uh, through someone called Celebrity Cruises. I yeah. thought they would have a celebrity on it, but they didn't mention any celebrities. <laughs> but <laughs> I, it, it got and me got drawn into it though. Yeah, it's the owner. Yeah, Matt. 